Hey, hell, how's it going, my royal family, my kings and my queens? I'm your host, King Philippe, and this is Top Music and Entertainment Show right here on YouTube. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is your first time over here on our channel. Join the royal movement, become a part of the royal family. Now, let's get into it. I wasn't planning on making this particular particular video today. RIP to the legendary, um, the great, the GOAT, <laughs> DMX. I really found this interesting, and I definitely have to share it with you guys. Now, uh, a friend of mine shared this from Twitter. So I don't know who originally made this post, whatever, but I'm just gonna read what it says. I haven't done any research. I don't know how true it is, but it is what it is. Um, the post read, DMX family said that he got, the, he got that vaccine a week prior to him suffering from a heart attack. He got it when they opened it up to people over 50 so that he could travel and perform. Now, why wasn't this being talked about from the rap and hip hop community? Protect the people. I do feel like, I'm not saying that, that he died from the vaccine. I have no idea. But it just, it just proves, I don't want to say it proves, but you know, it makes me hesitant even more because I, I'm not real big on just taking a, a whole lot of medicine and you know vaccine I, i'm not real big on that stuff i'm 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 a conspiracy believer i believe in conspiracy theory to a certain extent and i really don't trust the government i was against the vaccine still still am uh, i'm just say that you know shout out to um lovely t because she's <laughs> she against it too over there on, on lovely t on her channel but anyway um I'm slightly against it and just reading that just made me even more hesitant you know and if that the case you know why isn't it being discussed now when me and my friend was talking about it right before i decided to make this video i was like well if you know the people didn't know that he got the vaccine um a week before you know he he had the heart attack i mean about the people i'm talking about you know myself and other bloggers and you know youtube people who make videos and and people on the news and you know radio that that do, that does stuff like this you know talking about um the industry and entertainment and celebrity gossip and news and stuff like that i felt like that question was directed towards us you know why is that something that we haven't been discussing in the hip-hop community now to answer that question though it's because we didn't know <laughs> like we didn't know until the family said it and i didn't know until the post until i saw that post so we can't talk about something we don't know but with that being said um it does make me very hesitant you know and i feel like it's something that the family and we as fans as supporters of, of this legendary um musical genius I, I feel like we this is something we definitely need to look into because hey like coming up with a vaccine in less than a year and being set being forced to take it i just i just it, that just don't sit well with me but i really do think we need to i need to see the autopsy um yeah we need to really get into that i'm asking y'all do y'all know anything about this um how do y'all feel about you know what i just shared with you guys is it true what i just shared with you guys i've done no research i have no idea I'm, this is so random. It has me on high alert. I will say that it, is, it definitely ha has me on high alert. And when it comes down to these celebrities, I just don't trust this industry, period. You know, even going back to the Whitney and the Bobby situation. Bobby Christina, like, drug overdose. I believe Bobby Brown's sister. I do not believe that Whitney Houston <laughs> died, drowned from an overdose, drug overdose, or a drowned in the tub. I don't believe that. I really believe that Whitney was beat beat to death. I, I feel like she was beaten to death, and I, that's just how I feel. Fine. She was fine. And another thing, Whitney did not get in bathtubs in hotels. Huh. That was something that she and I discussed on many occasions. We, we used to laugh about it. Whitney would never get in the hotel bathtub. She hated them? She thought they were dirty? You know, or? Yeah. yeah. We, we talked and laughed about how we would never do that. So when I heard that she was found in that bathtub, I knew right then and there something was wrong. I am, first of all, because in, in, in my mind, my belief, and I've always believed this from the 
beginning when I started my investigation, I came up with they were trying to kill Chrissy first. And then they wanted to make, because Chrissy was found first. Did you all know that? She was found first at the uh, hotel. She was found first in the tub. Mm hmm And Chrissy said that she woke up, but she came too. And there were people standing over her. I don't, I don't know who those people were, but they were standing over her. And that was before Whitney was found. So they were trying to get Chrissy first, and then they were gonna try to kill, I guess, say that Whitney was feeling so bad from Bobby Christina's death that she just did something to herself, but it didn't turn out that way. Chrissy came, she came through, and then that's when they bum rushed Whitney. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitney, she fought for her life. She fought hard. She tried. She tried. She tried to stay here. But I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping that um, this brings up more conversation and we can get down to really what's going on and, and what really happened if that vaccine is a possibility of you know adding to the death of um of, of, of x man for real i just wanted to share that with you guys now um on to some lighter news before i jump off here because um i'm working on the project right now i'm working on something but i'm working on a video about mariah carey right now um i started a uh, a, a segment called lyrics that hit deep and what that mean is you know just a song that really just touched down you know in the core we could just feel it deep down um the lyrical content and i've already shared one video it was mary j black better i have um a video dropping on tuesday and it's kisha cole um we could be the song is called we could be off her first album and I'm working on Mariah now, so I'm working on those, and as well as I dropped a project, and it's called Jam Session, and it really was a jam session. So y'all be sure to check that out, support um, me right there with that, and let me know how y'all feel about what I share with you guys about DMX, and let's just talk about it, man. Let's really get into it. RIP to to um, DMX again, and. I'm sending my my prayers and my love out to his family and his friends and for DMX. As a matter of fact, let me see if I find one more. Cause Ashanti shared something on her um Hey Venus versus Ma, that's my shit. That's Jay Z Venus versus Ma. Y'all y'all be hearing be Beyonce in the background. Like Daddy go hard. But anyway, <laughs> that's a whole nother song. I mean a whole nother video. But Ashanti shared something on her Instagram. Uh, this is a new phone right here, so I'm not even finna try to find it. What I'll do is I'll just, you know, copy it and, and post it and so y'all can read it. I'm not gonna read it to you guys. Cause I don't know what's up. I gotta figure out how to properly work that phone. But this phone right here, this iPhone, I got that one down pat. <laughs> anyway, man. Um, RP to DMX again. Um, today is Sunday. I'm about to head to the park and try to have a, a little good time because I've been working my ass off and I just want y'all to have a good day. I love you guys, my Rory family, my keys and queens. You already know how we do. Love each other, support each other, but most of all, know your worth. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Did I get everything out that I needed to talk about while I'm making this random video? I think I did. If not, I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs>